In this video, I will show you how I recreated the walking animation of these shoes from Iman Gadji. Okay friends, let's make it. Here I have shoe image. You can download it from the description if you want. First, we will create moving lines animation. For that, add a rectangle shape. Now stretch this shape into composition area. Select any color you like for this shape. I like to choose a dark blue color for my shape. Now go to effects and apply the grid effect to this shape. Here enable screen space. Now adjust the width. In my case, 0 0.006 is perfect value. Now change lines color to white. Now add flip layer effect. Here change the axis value to 90 degrees. Now adjust the angle value to negative 75 degrees. Now adjust the position as shown. Now extend this layer duration to 11 seconds. Now select the line layer, go to effects, and expand the grid effect parameter. Here add the offset keyframe. Now at the last frame, change the offset X value to negative 3200%. Keep the keyframe curves linear. Now we have something like this. We will mask this layer later. Now we will animate the shoe. Let's keep shoe layer duration 2.5 frames. Now adjust shoe size as shown. Place it here. Now change the pivot point position as shown. Now add the rotation keyframe. Move 15 frames forward and adjust the rotation as shown. Now move here and change the rotation value to 0%. Add a position keyframe here. Also add at 15th frame. Now at this keyframe, change the shoe position as shown. Now move to frame number 1.11. Here adjust the rotation value as shown. Move to the frame number 1.25 and change the rotation value to 0%. Now at this frame, add the position keyframe. Now here, change the shoe position as shown. Move to the last frame and adjust the shoe position as I shown in the video. Now we have something like this. Let's add a bend effect to the shoe layer. Add the angle keyframe at the first frame. Add one more here. Also add here. Now here adjust the angle value as shown. Now duplicate the shoe layer. Move this layer position as shown. You can see guys, shoes position not matching here. Simply select second shoe layer and match the shoe position at the first position keyframe. Now it's perfect. Now create more copies of second shoe layer. Select all shoe layers and group them. Now duplicate this layer. Drag it here. Move to this position and trim the first layer. Drag it here. Now start this layer from the beginning. Let's apply the saturation effect to this layer. Adjust the saturation according to your taste. Let's trim these two layers here. 
Now add a circle shape. Adjust the shape as shown. Now apply Gaussian Blur to this shape. Adjust the blur strength. Let's extend this layer duration. Now select these two layers and tap on the masking icon. Let me adjust the mask a little more. Now it's perfect. Add a rectangle shape for background. Fit this shape into the canvas size. Drag it here. Now change the color. Let's extend this layer duration. Now add a circle shape. Adjust it as I shown in the video. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.